Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, I'm not gonna be doing no walking and talking. I'm gonna be doing some riding and talking. All right, I know it doesn't rhyme, but whatever, it don't matter. All right, so without further ado, let me get on this bike and uh, start talking. Hey guys, before we get started, I just wanted to quickly apologize for the video quality on today's video. I was actually doing a completely different project um, indoors filming something for Christian um, with this camera and I completely forgot to put the settings back to normal and therefore you know uh, by the time I got home and I saw I realized it was all messed up so sorry but hey guess what the audio is still good I think enjoy hey guys how's it going and welcome back to another episode so in today's episode we're doing a little bit of double duty number one as part of the duty um actually today i actually fixed my bike again and um i actually added oil to the bike finally all right amen and um so i was like all right let me take it out for a little spin a little sound check and see how things are going it seems so far so good i really wouldn't know until um until I actually look back at the film later when I get home. But uh, yeah, so today's episode, um, I, I just want to talk about the fact that I see more and more and more, I see more and more people every day waking up. And, um, you know, we're going to be talking about that. You know, we're going to be talking about the fact that as each day moves on, no matter what part of the world you're in, more and more people are not just waking up. Because what does waking up mean? In my opinion, I think, you know, waking up is basically starting to question, you know, starting to question, uh, you know, what's around you, starting to question what's going on, starting to question all kinds of things. I mean, <clears throat> basically, the reason I want to make today's episode is for a few reasons. You know, reason number one, I was on Facebook and um, I, I, I saw a family member of mine super super virus person <clears throat> you know super believing in the virus and the situation and it's the you know the next thing since the spanish flu <laughs> whatever anyways that whole fucking thing and um basically they posted on their facebook page this morning you know something about the covid test you know basically saying like well i mean if the covid test I mean, and first of all, well, I've been saying basically, if um, if you can find out whether you have COVID or not, or it can be spread, if the whole COVID thing can be spread, basically through a droplet, a spit, a droplet of uh, of liquid coming from you, then why the hell do they need to have a test that's like this ginormous um, Q-tip? that goes all the way in your nose and touches the back of your brain. Like, well, why, why do we need that test? Why does that test, of the only test that we have available in order to see um, if you're, you know, if you have this or not. When again, if it's really as uh, spreadable as it is, if it's really as deadly as it is, and all that stuff, you know, just a little bit of, uh, a little bit of spit will do ya. That's what she said. A little bit of spit could be your best friend so that's kind of like what that is what's going on there which is that was hilarious um then another thing there's this uh, podcast that i listen to um it's called the uh, flagrant two andrew schultz okay andrew schultz is the guy that um is behind uh, that podcast and basically the last podcast that he put up a couple days ago or whatever um it was just him spending about two hours plus instead of talking about sports, instead of talking about all of these other things that he could be talking about, he was basically talking about, I mean, conspiracy stuff, you know what I mean? Which I thought it was hilarious because even the people that were with him, you know, that do the podcast with him and all that stuff, even they were like uh, kind of questioning and saying like, hey bro, we're going too deep. We're going too deep. That's not normally what we talk about and yada 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 and uh so i thought that was pretty hilarious and so i mean not hilarious you know hilarious and interesting and all these things in between so you know with that being said there's a lot of traffic there's more traffic now coming coming our way 
So that's good. Things are finally starting. Things are finally starting to open up. Seeing a lot more traffic, a lot more people on the street. The whole nine. I love it. So anyways, you know, back to what I was saying, um, you know, more and more people are questioning everything. You know, people are questioning, it's like, well, why do we really got to wear this mask? Um, what's up with that uh, Jeline Maxwell lady? What about Epstein? What about this? What about that? You know, and so, you know, as... Uh, as I have been talking on my channel for a while now, we're starting to see more and more of that come into fruition every single day. You know, again, you know, just more and more people questioning and asking and not believing and wondering why and, and so on and so forth. And everybody has their reason. Some people just flat out don't believe. Some people have been, you know, start just looking at too much evidence and they can't, they can't keep their heads in the sand anymore or anything like that. So, we're really just starting to see a lot more of that. And so to me, it's a great, great, great sign moving forward. And by the way, I, I am definitely not listening. I am definitely not hearing any noise coming from the bike anymore. So that's a good sign. Seems like the bike is, uh, we finally fixed it guys. All around, we got the new pedal, no more noise. Looking great. So far, so good. Anyways, go back to what I was saying. You know, a lot of people are just not choosing, not believing anymore. Not, um, you know, just questioning. There's a lot of questioning going on from, from people that I never thought would be questioning. Uh, people that I already thought were indoctrinated, things like that. I started, you know, I've been listening to many podcasts, been listening to many things. And um, it just seems that everyone, no matter what the podcast or what the topic that they're talking about is, the one thing that's a, the one thing that remains a constant is the questioning aspect to all this. You know, where everyone's just, uh, you know, just asking way too many questions. Whether it's about health, you know, whether it's about, you know, what's really going on, it don't matter. The point is, is that people that people are just not sitting down as idly as they, they were before and um, they're asking more and more questions every single day and um, they're definitely pushing back against this narrative you know one of the things that was uh, kind of like uh, you know bothering me about living out here you know during this whole coronavirus situation was the fact that I, I got this I was seeing so many people I was seeing so many people um, fall for this, you know, seeing so many people, you know, basically um, think people that I never thought in a million years would be listening to government, never thought that they would be listening to any other bullshit, and, and in fact they would be questioning, all of a sudden all these people are, you know, they just fell for this shit hook, line, and sinker, and that to me was the most disappointing thing, but yeah, like I was saying in one of the podcasts I was listening to, it was like a podcast of, uh, I think it was like One American and everybody else was somebody from uh, from another country, and they were saying, you know, basically like how, you know, the most surprising thing to this to this whole serious um, to this whole situation was seeing so many Americans, you know, fall for this shit hook, line, and sinker. You know, for me, it's like seeing so many Mexicans fall for this hook, line, and sinker, and so on and so forth. But anyways, all right, guys. Well, I'm here at my destination. I gotta go and take care of something real quick. I'm gonna get some uh, new glasses. So I'm gonna do this and then I'll get back to you on the flip side, guys. We'll continue this conversation on the other end. <laughs> I know, you guys are probably wondering the change of scenery so all of a sudden and quickly. Well, basically um, my video today is a bit all over the place. Uh, you'll find out after you watch this scene. But I just wanted to add something to the conversation, you know, to what I was talking about right now um, in this video, which was the Great Awakening. Because I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking right now, well, what do you mean the Great Awakening? Everything seems to be going into full chaos and everything seems to be going the opposite direction. Well, the reality is, is that 
before we get to the great awakening before we get to like this enlightenment period as you know before we get to like the awesomeness that is what's coming our way we need to go through a lot of hardship we need to go through the growing pains we need to go through the hard stuff you know right now every single day you know um your governor your mayor your whatever you know is telling you wear a mask then a week later don't wear a mask then one week later saying you know um if you go outside it's gonna this is gonna happen if you go outside that's gonna happen and it's always something different it's always changing and it's, it seems again just like i was telling you earlier more people are questioning because well no one can believe anything anymore and uh everyone's an expert and everyone doesn't know what the hell they're doing or talking about and so at the end of the day um it's every single person out there is starting to look inside starting to figure it out themselves trying to you know realize wait a minute I, i'm instead of listening to these people that don't know what the hell they're talking about maybe i should do some research myself and and go down the rabbit hole and start figuring it out and as more and more people have more and more time and uh you know what i mean less and less to look forward to the more they're going to keep going down the rabbit hole and eventually they're all waking up and figuring it out but again as everyone is waking up and figuring it out we have to go through the 12 steps okay you know the 12 steps are and you know the i don't know what they are you know but you know what what i mean you know the 12 steps of recovery the 12 steps of anything and um you know the first step is like admitting it the second step is you know what i mean you know what anger or i don't know i don't know the order of any of these things maybe you know a little bit better but you know what i'm saying you know what i mean it's acceptance it's anger it's all of these emotions that come you know through the whole 12 step stuff and um you know that's what we're going through right now i know anger and pushback and and all that stuff you know what i mean is one of the first steps and that's kind of like what we're going through right now where a lot of people are realizing hey wait a minute we have been lied to hey wait a minute this doesn't add up hey wait a minute why are we doing this when we should be doing that and so on and so forth so i just kind of like wanted to add that you know right here before i continue with this video so that way give you guys a little bit more context because i've been kind of filming all day today doing all kinds of things and and I, the video is just all over the place and um, i just wanted to make sure that i kind of threw that in there because i i just had a feeling i did not brought bring that up and i think that that would be very important um to today's video and to like a lot of the things that i'm talking about because you know again it's not about optimism it's or pessimism it's more about again just using your head and using your brain and uh, if the more information that you know the more and you know information you have in front of you the better decisions you can make for you and your family and your loved ones so you know that's why you know i'm always i'm not here trying to like pick a side or trying to figure this out or that out no i'm just here always trying to like question i'm always trying to get you guys to question and more importantly than anything else again just keep acquiring knowledge and keep questioning and keep you know trying to figure it out because nobody has it figured out well you know except for the lizard people that are controlling us or the gay frogs or whatever but other than that Bruh. we don't know what the fuck we're doing so that's what we're all trying to wake up together you know the great awakening as we all are starting to realize what the fuck is going on all right so now back to the rest of the show <laughs> hey guys all right so before i continue with the video i just want to give a big shout out to these guys right behind me right now i'm going to put a link down in the description um i've already made videos about this place and i'm going to continue making videos about this place because it's the best all right um glasses as you guys can see you know something that i wear every day and i need and there's a lot of people out there um the need glasses all right so you know basically this is you know my go-to um ever since i moved to merida i've been having to deal with um the whole glasses situation and um i remember the the first time i found this place all right i'm showing you guys i'm gonna give you guys a little bit more direction in a second okay but um but yeah i just wanted to give everyone uh, i want to give these guys a shout out again because I, I came in here today and i haven't been here in a while just because of the quarantine and so many other things and they were so nice you know they were waiting for me they gave me a discount and basically i got two pairs of glasses for the price of one and it was only because you know um i'm such an awesome customer and i bring so many of you guys here because you know one of the questions that i get a lot is about glasses a lot of people wear glasses so this is the place i recommend and uh you know they have various prices available you know everywhere from like 25 to 50 to 75 dollars for the whole thing okay <clears throat> depending on what you want and what you need but uh this is a little bit of the neighborhood all right i'm just gonna give you a quick little tour i forgot what this is on 54th all right this is on 54th in ed centro all right and i forgot the cross streets i gotta get you the cross streets in a second all right but i will i will provide that down below all right 
just so you guys can have that information and um, in the future I will make another episode on this place but I just wanted to give them a shout out and also wanted to remind you guys that if you like a lot of the Mexico content that you find on this channel and you want to see a lot more of the newer stuff, check out the other channel because that's where I put most of my Mexico stuff. Today, I'm just talking about random stuff, riding the bicycle, you already know. And I just happened to have to come out here and get some glasses, but it wasn't enough material to make a full episode on. But regardless, again, I just have to give them a shout out. Just like, again, I give everybody a shout out. All right, so don't forget, come check these guys out, all right? All right, guys. So we're back on uh, back on track, heading home. Got ourselves some, some new glasses. Riding around the bicycle, doing all that good stuff. And we're gonna get back to conversation. You know what I mean? Back to what we were talking about. Back to the point I was trying to make earlier. You know the the whole idea that everybody's waking up. I mean, basically, as soon as I was in there, you know, talking to you know the owner of the place and talking to you know other patrons and other people you know again and just uh, just hanging out there for a little bit and seeing uh the customers and seeing other people walk by and all that good stuff you know just again i keep seeing more and more people um you know they're just following protocol because they have to oh by the way so it's on, the, the glasses place is on 54th in between 53 and 51. So in between 53 and 51 on Calle, on street 54, all right? In El Centro, that's where the place is, okay? Sorry, I got a few things in my pocket real quick. Hold on, I just wanna make sure. I don't got anything flying around or anything. So, Man, it is very, very, very crazy hot today. That's for sure. And um, yeah, these new glasses are awesome. This is awesome. The whole thing is awesome. But uh, yeah, the most awesome thing is just seeing every single day more and more people waking up. Waking up to the reality of what's really going on. What all this is all about. And everything that has to do with that. So, it's a great sign. You know, right now, I'm... Um, it's gonna be a while before we get back to kind of like normal, but it's we're not that far away from it. At least here, locally, in Mexico, but in other parts of the world, I understand how, you know, things are just getting worse right now. And, uh, you know, more people are clamping down and, and things are closing up. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter how this, you know, what goes on when it comes to that. I really do think that it's just every single day that we, um, Every single day that passes, more and more people are waking up in one shape, form, or another. And uh, we're really, really, really seeing that every single day, no matter what. So even though we still see people you know, riding their bikes. I mean, there's still people riding their bikes or running or driving their car by themselves with a mask on and it might be driving you crazy. Look guys, again, you know, you shouldn't let any of that stuff drive you crazy, man. That's their prerogative. They're the ones that wanna um, hinder themselves, you know, handicap themselves by uh, wearing a face mask. And so again, you shouldn't feel, um, you shouldn't feel bad or anything like that. It's just, it is what it is, you know what I mean? Like, uh, at the end of the fucking day, what are you gonna do? So, all you can do is just, you know what the truth is. You know that even if you get sick, it's just most likely, uh, you know, a, a really, really strong flu, um, even, if this thing, you know, was a real thing, was a real bioweapon, look, I, I, I think it's real, but it's just like anything else, you know what I mean? I've had really, really bad cold and flus uh, in my past that didn't affect anybody. You know what I mean? Like, I remember when I first moved to Seattle, it was such a huge change for me coming from the swamp all the way to, um, to Seattle. 
and um, it was such a major, 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 major change for me. I, I gotta see if I can get some air in my tower, uh, tires, so I'm gonna see if I can swing by the gas station real quick. Hopefully I can get that done. But I mean, you know, I remember getting really, really sick. I remember losing my voice. I remember losing taste. I remember losing, you know, all that shit. But this is like five years ago. And I remember in between all that, you know, many times where, you know, not many times, but a few times here and there where I've gotten that sick, like literally sick as a dog and then some. And um, it's kind of like the same thing here. You know, people right now are just taking this shit. You know, it's all psychological. So for example, look, yesterday, I was feeling a little tingle in my throat. And I started thinking, oh shit, you know, because I've been dealing with a lot of uh, foreigners, I've been dealing with a lot of fucking people from all over the place, and I'm thinking, oh man, fuck, I might have gotten the Rona, I might have gotten whatever, you know, I might have, you know, even though, you know, you already know how I think about this, and what do I think about this, and how, you know, my stance on all this is, but still, I was thinking about all that, and thinking about all that, and then I wasn't thinking about the obvious, you know, which is, yeah, you're not really drinking, uh, you know, your zinc or your vitamin C the last couple days because X, Y, Z, um, you've been smoking a lot more blunts, you know, and so on and so forth. And that's really why, you know, my throat was a little tingly. So what I do, I made myself a fat lemonade. I went outside, got some sun, did a little exercise and bam, bam, bam. Before you know it, I fucking wake up this morning and I'm like a million bucks. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, it's only because I, I knew what the hell was going on and I did not give in to my, uh, you know, and not give in to like the societal whatever. All right, so I'm here at the gas station. I think I saw some air. Is that air over there? That's air. Let's get some air. All right. There's air, but no air. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me go, I'll check this out. I think I gotta go and hang out with these guys over here. I think the air is over there. Just taking you guys on a little ride today with me. Oh, there we go. There's the air. Ta-da. See? Oh, look at this. This is pretty interesting. So look, there's like some sort of government building or some sort of government situation. And look what they have here. Oh, man. I just wanted to show you guys. So look, I got everybody like kind of waiting outside now. And they got like this new fence. They got like new instructions out there for everybody. And it's just, uh, yeah, it doesn't look good. I hate these new, I hate all this new bullshit. But anyways, hopefully I'll be gone soon. So, so yeah, I'm not gonna put on no fucking mask, man. Fuck that shit. You know what I mean? Uh, so, you know, it was the cop was just signaling to my face you know, to put it on. We're not gonna put it on, bro. I'm not gonna put it on. Anyways, but yeah, back to that. It's all about, you know, the strength of your, um, of you, of your mind, of your constitution, of so many things like that, that really determine, you know, how your body is going to really deal with this stuff and all that shit. And, um, you know, it's all about taking care of your immune system, you know, taking the proper vitamins, taking, you know, doing the proper maintenance on yourself. And again, just like on the bike, if I don't put air in the tires, I'm going to have a flat tire. If I don't put oil in the springs, I'm gonna get stuck. You know what I mean? If I don't fix the pedal, I'm not gonna move. Just basic shit like that. And so it's the same thing, you know what I mean? It's like if all of a sudden, you're not feeling too hot, you know what I mean? You gotta take care of yourself instead of doing something like, um, you know, putting on a face mask, um, putting yourself in quarantine, and doing all of these things that if you know anything, just a, uh, just a basic knowledge, on, on health, you know that all of those things that they're telling you to do are actually gonna make you sicker and make you get worse. Again, you know, the reason that they say go outside when you're sick is so that you are not confined in the same space as your fucking disease because you might shake off your disease, but the disease is still in your house, it's still in your room, it's still in your, and, you, and eventually it's gonna, you're gonna get caught again, you're gonna catch it again. And you're gonna continue getting sick over and over again with the same fucking, disease, the same strain, the same everything. So, you know, right now, in a place like Merida, just to give you an example, in a place like Merida, for an example, you know, people 
you know, people out here are afraid. Yeah, I'm just winning on traffic and shit. Uh, people are out here are afraid of catching the disease, of uh, catching it on a surface, of catching it, whatever. And the, it's like we already know it's common knowledge that the, the, the virus or whatever can't live on a surface of anything over 70 degrees. I can fry a fucking egg. I can fry an egg on any surface here, any surface. I can fry an egg. All right? And yet, people are afraid that the fucking virus is living all around us. You know what I mean? Like, get the fuck out of here with this shit. You know what I mean? And so it's just, again, the common sense. It's all about your brain, your mind. You know, you got to make sure that you're in control, that nobody else is in control. You got to make sure that, you, you, you know what I mean? You question everything. Just like a lot of people are doing now. A lot of people are questioning, like, hey, wait a minute. Why are we taking this test when we can just do this? Hey, wait a minute. Why are we quarantining ourselves when we should just do this? Hey, wait a minute. Why are they doing this when we should be doing that? Hey, wait a minute. And so like even the most staunch believer in what's going on right now is questioning like a motherfucker. Let alone people like me and you that have been questioning since day one. And what do they keep doing? Well, if you're a community that's been questioning a lot and pushing back a lot, well, they're not putting that many restrictions on you. If you're a community that has been laying down and taking all of these restrictions, you know, up the, you know what? Well, guess what? They're locking you down even further and going even further, you know, with this and seeing how far they can take it. So out here, you know, that's why they kept locking down and locking down and locking down all the way until, you know, where we are now, where we're already past that point. You know what I mean? People are wearing their face mask and wearing their thing just because they kind of have to, but that's it, you know what I mean? Everyone's done. And that's the thing, you know, I think that, you know, depending on where we are in the world will depend on how we, how we go about this. See, look, there was just a guy in a bike not wearing a mask. He gave me like the, the nod. And then there was a guy right behind him in a car by himself wearing the mask. And he was giving me that fucking look. And it's like, again, you know, right now what's going to be happening is that, you know what I mean? The thing we've been talking about over and over again, we're moving from you know um awakening you know we're in a giant awakening period and a lot of people are waking up and figuring this shit out and um you know no matter how late it is people are eventually going to wake up and the ones that don't wake up well they have another agenda as we already know it's all about control it's all about you know what i mean telling you what to do and then again even if it's someone telling you wear your fucking mask they feel a little bit of power because they told you something so anyways, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. I don't even know what I recorded. I've been, you know, just out and about all day doing all kinds of things. I'm, I'm fucking uh, sweating like, a, like an animal. It is hot. I'm, I'm bothered. I'm humid. The whole fucking thing. And I got to go inside and I got to fucking edit this shit so that you guys can watch it on the weekend. I love you guys. You guys are the fucking best, man. Seriously. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, just like you enjoy all the other episodes. And if you didn't, leave a thumbs down. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Please share these videos. Share the videos and all the stuff that you see on my channel. Because that's the only way people are going to watch this stuff. Because YouTube is not helping me at all. And that's okay. You know, it is what it is, though. But anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please check out the podcast. Please check out the, please, please check out the other channel so you can see more many of the videos. Please check out all of the links I have below. And uh, more importantly than anything else, stay awesome. Love you guys, and I'll see you manana. Bye.